Greetings and salutations, this is Notorious. If you haven't realized, the Bed Bad Fox is going to read you a poem. This one is entitled, Those Who Have No Words. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'm fucking tired. So, I'm going to try my best to do this in one take. And if I can't, I'll do it tomorrow when I get back to my interview. So, um, this poem is kind of a naturalist poem or nature, nature loving poem because I'm a firm believer that humans are so far shoved up their own asses it's not even funny. We as a species believe we are better than all creatures because of simple stupidity. And quite honestly, it bugs the piss out of me and annoys every fiber of my being. So. I'm gonna go ahead, cry a lot inside, and then I'm gonna get this poem out the way. Cause, as I said in my announcement, this is one of the poems that I don't like. And if my announcement comes after this, as I will say in my announcement, this is one of the poems that I don't like. It's not the fact that I think it's a bad poem, I think it's one of my better poems to be honest. But I do not like the feeling it gives me. I hate being raw. As everyone in the poetry community knows, and because I think raw is overdone, it's overrated. There's no real beauty in raw, because all raw is is talking about one's personal issues with their own soul that they can't get over, or issues that they wish they can fix, but they can't, because quite honestly, words are about as strong as the paper that they're put on. So. A lot of poets will be pissed at me when I say that, but I think it's the goddamn truth. So, I see poetry as an art form. It's a platform, I know it is. You can use it to say whatever you want, to do whatever you want, but for me, it is simply art. And as art, it is most beautiful when the creativity of the mind is able to truly show itself. And I think Raw kind of rips away from the creativity and just goes with bare instinct. So, sorry I'm kind of yammering on. I feel like that's my feelings. You'll probably hear, a lot, hear this almost at a repeat when I do Evolve or Die. So, again, this is Notorious. Hope you enjoy. This is Those Who Have No Words. What you see before you is a mirage of a montage of events that occur in such rapid succession that if one were to blink or think they would miss its entirety and be left with simple questions that have no answer for what is not there cannot reply or pull out of thin air the assumptions of what is now in its place. For what you see before you that is littered with the life like cans on the beach or caskets in a morgue is a sanctuary buried deeper than six feet yet lifted beyond the heavens grips with lips kissing all that we wish to reach with more lessons to teach but no students to be seated in front of these wise instructors. But what do you see before you? A compost heap of timbering shrieks, cuckooing cries of mothers trapped, unable to protect their weak fledglings who are just accidents awaiting to die so another plot of gray plaster can be laid beautifully by the masters of this land that they claim for it was always meant this way. For God decrees that we are better cause, simply put, we can speak. I'll listen to it and see how it goes, but you can probably tell I'm not here. I'm doing the John Cena, and I'm not here. I can't see me. So. <laughs> <laughs>